Hello everyone, it's Eric from Coffee Beers and Bowties, and we're here today for another suit up and brew up. Today we're going to be brewing coffee from Portrait Coffee out of Atlanta, Georgia. Found them on Instagram and decided to send them a message and ask of their um, coffee line which one would they recommend that we, you know, that I order to try out. And so they recommended that I try out their popular coffee, which is the Stacy. Now the Stacy is named after no other than attorney and political activist Stacy Abrams. But I also decided that uh, just by reading the notes on the website about the Tony, which is named after Tony Morrison. So the story gets a little deeper from here and then we'll go ahead and we'll get into our, our brew. So what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna brew um, the Tony and we're gonna do it on the French press. All right, so we're gonna have a French press with the Tony. My first mine, I just, so this is all off the cuff right now, everybody, but I was gonna do both coffees at the same time with two French presses. I was gonna use one for drinking and another one make, maybe make a dessert, but uh, as of this morning, like seconds ago, I decided to go ahead and just only brew one which is going to be the Tony because it goes a little bit more into the story I want to share with you guys with regards to Tony Morrison. So again, two phenomenal coffees. Here we have the, the Stacy, all right? And it has notes of uh, smoke, smoky hazelnut and caramel. It's a wash process and it's a, a medium roast coffee at Portrait Coffee. So yeah, this one's really, really good. I like it a lot. Um, phenomenal coffee and then the second one we have again is the Tony right here and this what really drew me in is that it's savory smooth and unapologetically chocolate and it doesn't say anything else it just says unapologetically chocolate I said okay I'm gonna get that one so um, as we move forward and as time has gone on you know I've learned a lot like my last brew up um, we were with three keys and that kind of got me really into you know, the jazz movement and really getting more informed of jazz of that era of Charlie Parker, etc. Well, let's talk a little bit about Tony Morrison. So we're gonna take Stacy and, and put Stacy over here for a little while. So I did a little research on, I knew who Tony Morrison was. And again, you know, it was one of those things, most of my adult life I spent in the military and, um, usually in not necessarily all my free time but most of my free time when it came to just reading books and novels it was like technical manuals things that pertain to you know to work and you know that's how I was able to move up in the ranks because I was always busy reading you know things that you know had that would help me progress in my career so I knew who Toni Morrison was but I never got a chance to read any of her books and so the name just kind of started going over and over in my head, Toni Morrison, Toni Morrison, Toni Morrison. So I looked over on the bookshelf and lo and behold, my wife had a couple of books um, from Toni Morrison on uh, in the library. And so here we have her first book that she wrote, which is The Bluest Eye, all right? And then the second book that she wrote, which is Sulu. And so I've started reading this one and I'm almost done. I think I've, had, I've got about maybe 40, 50 pages left of the bluest eye. And this book, I tell you, it it dropped me. How does this book change the brewing method for the day? As I was reading it, it humbled me and it made me want to do two things. It made me want to drink coffee, it made me want to eat ice cream, right? To kind of, you know, make myself feel better because it's, you know, it's the book is really deep. So we're gonna get rid of one of these French presses. So you can see here, I have two French press uh, devices here, and we're gonna get rid of one. So we're gonna get rid of this one, and we're just gonna work with with this. And we're gonna keep the 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 bluest eye over here in the corner. Right? So did a little bit more research. Well, before we get going with our brew, I absolutely must highlight today's ensemble. Okay, so my idea, my motivation for today's outfit was to display some complimentary colors. 
right? Orange and blue, which are directly across from one another on the color wheel. So I wanted to bring that out. Starting from the top down, we have a Biltmore Governor, and it's made from cashmere silk. It is brown with the blue trim, as you can see, which uh, accents the, the blue suit with the blue stripes. And of course, we have the orange bow tie from the bow style all right have the orange lapel pin with the look uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the the pocket square but check out the Instagram page and you'll be able to see the outfit in its entirety I have my beads I have my Armani exchange wash and the orange socks to complement the outfit and then the vest is dark blue to bring out and have a base for the colors to to really stand out along with the with the blue shirt i think that's pretty much it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into our brew so for this particular brew i'm excited because my very very first home brew other than using a keurig it was on the french press so we're gonna do the French press again. We're gonna use the Tony. We're gonna do 40 grams of coffee, all right? So we're gonna do 40 grams of coffee and we're gonna make two drinks. We're gonna make a standard, just a regular coffee and we're gonna also make a dessert coffee drink and- um, Affogato. All right, so we're gonna do, a little, have a little bit of ice cream and coffee together. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put together so the first thing we need to do is get our beans so with that get our scale going and we're gonna count out 40 grams of, of beans okay that's our 40 grams of beans we're gonna go ahead and get this in the grinder and we're gonna grind this at a setting of 28 on the Baratza Encore all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna warm our chamber So we're just gonna add a little bit of water and get our chamber warm. Okay, so this part of our of our brew is gonna take a total of four minutes. Okay, we're gonna take our coffee grounds and put them inside of the chamber. What we're, we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna introduce our water to our coffee, we're gonna uh, put about 100 grams of water to allow the coffee to steep in the bloom. We're gonna let that part process go for about a minute, and then we're gonna add the rest of the water, and then the total brew time is gonna be a total of four minutes. So here we go. That's about 100, that's 106 actually. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna stir it up a little bit. All right, that's one minute. So we're gonna go up to 600 grams of water. So that's 600 grams of water. Okay, so we're gonna install our lid, but we're not gonna press it down until our four minute mark. In the meantime, we're gonna get our devices ready for the ice cream and for the regular coffee itself. And so here, this is where you would add your uh, two scoops of your favorite ice cream. And as you can see, we've reached our four minute mark. Um, so here, I'm going to finish dressing the ice cream with a couple of what my kids call airplane cookies, the Biscoff. There you go. All right, we're done with the scale and our brew is done. So we'll get this out of the way. I know it's a lot of moving parts. So while the ice cream is there, I learned this hack from Mama's Brew, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and plunger the coffee down. And because using the uh, French press, you know, it's in direct contact with the coffee. 
So all those oils and all those things are still inside of the coffee itself. If you want a secondary straining system, then you can get a mesh filter like this one and you can strain your coffee a, a second time to get some of that sediment out of the uh, out of the coffee. So Mama's Brew taught me how to do this one. So we're just gonna strain this one into this container. So that's our coffee for drinking. So we'll move this out of the way. But for our ice cream drink, we are going to go directly on top. So that's still straining, and what we're gonna do for our ice cream is we're gonna take some uh, German's Baker's chocolate and drizzle on top. And as for our drink, it's ready to go. And as you can see here, it collects some of that additional sediment from the coffee. And there you have it. You have your, your dessert drink with your Biscoff cookies that have already sunk into the bottom of the, of the bowl. So if you're having a movie night or you're having yourself a, a moment, you have the taste for some coffee and ice cream, this is definitely a great way to go. Me, I'm more, right now, more of a coffee person, but this Tony is definitely a versatile coffee. You can use it to pull espresso shots, a mocha pot. It definitely comes out with strong flavors, uh, notes of, of chocolate, and it's just a phenomenal coffee to drink. So here we go right here, and look at the color of that. It's beautiful. Look at that. And you still get some of those oils and things from the coffee if you really like brewing with the French press. Like I said, the French press was the first device I, I brewed with, and uh, it's still something that I, I wish I used more because I have some of these other devices. I think what deters people from using the French press more is maybe because of the cleanup at the end compared to just using the filter and throwing it in the trash, but definitely a classic and elegant way to brew coffee. And let's see how this Tony tastes. This is dessert all by itself. Oh my goodness. Portrait, you guys did the thing. But I'm gonna get me some of this, some of this ice cream. Let's see. Let's see how well we did. Stop playing. So really, no matter which way you decide to use this coffee, if you decide to use it for dessert or just to drink the coffee regular, make a latte, espresso, Americano, macchiato, whatever your thing is, the Tony is definitely the one you wanna go with. So that's today's Stood Up and Brew Up. Today we used the one to 15 brewing ratio. Uh, we strained it a second time. Thanks for the, the tip from Mama's Brew. And there you have it. I forgot. Tony's from portrait coffee we have a regular cup of coffee i just wanted to switch it up a little bit and if you haven't gotten the opportunity to go out or you haven't read the bluest eye or any of the novels written by uh, the late uh, tony morrison i encourage you all to do so this is eric from coffee beers and bow ties see you on the next suit up and brew up